Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever back in the Alps once again. And uh, I'm currently outrunning this magnificent uh, Russian number in my little quadcopter here. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I'm using 21st century uh, technology up against uh, a 19th century train. So, uh, so I would hope to win. Although it is keeping pace pretty well, has to be said. Uh, and this is also currently the fastest thing on rails. Uh, and we're also, we're about to pack it out. So we have four coming in, and then we will take 16 back in the opposite direction. Everyone wants to go to Ingebol. Can't say I blame them. It's a glorious town. Uh, now, as you can see from its profits, we're up uh, this uh, year. It's up 20 grand so far. Uh, long may that continue. Uh, it should pick up quite nicely once we're taking a full load in both directions. Um, but we're just going to have to see how that pans out. Uh, right, let's uh, let's talk about what we're going to get up to today. Uh, obviously, that's going to keep trotting on. It will make a bit of cash. Um, but, uh, as promised at the end of the last episode, today we're going to do something different. We will either be building a, uh, a, a passenger ferry line of some description, which, well, I don't know how well that's going to pan out. Pan out. What I do know is it's going to be flaming expensive. Um, but uh, but Vitznau here is is one of several towns to really suggest that uh, that a, a river water-based route uh, would suit them, but it's going to cost me half a million uh, just to build the, uh, the the docks. So that might be one to wait until I'm feeling a little more flush. Uh, the other option is that I do another skirt around for a means of generating some uh, some goods. And actually this food production plant in Briennes, uh, that's that could be the way to go. I'll have to build a bridge, uh, and that's not cheap. Um, but uh, but it's only a little bridge, a little bridge across here somewhere, uh, and we could we could do that by cart, supplying Briennes only initially. I doubt very much it will be profitable, but it's an option, right? Uh, the alternate being I can bring the goods in from uh, from just outside Luzerne. Uh, the, or that I take the goods that way and then figure out where I'm going to send them. Doubtful. Doubtful at this stage. I need that to be a little bit faster than it's likely to be. Uh, the third option uh, is going to be some kind of mountain-based uh, inter-town tram route, assuming steam trams have been introduced. I'm, I'm not certain they have, uh, but if they have, that's what we'll do. And if they have, we're going to do it here. So stay tuned um, uh, until after the intro, and we'll we'll see if trams are out yet. You know, from time to time, I say, "My goodness, look at that! That's a picturesque shot, isn't it?" And then you look at this, and you kind of go, "My goodness, that really is a picturesque shot." Uh, other than the, the the rocks look a bit weird, and, and there's some lumpy bits of carving out of there. Uh, nothing that the smoothing gun won't sort out, but uh, but that is that is quite a nice shot. Um, anyway, well, well, what I'm thinking here is if we've got trams, and I, I will put you out of your misery in a moment, uh, is uh, Alp de de Alp de Sorecia, uh, Andermatt, and Realp. Uh, and and do a kind of a you know a, a, a one of those right however you want to describe it a V a back and forth V line so let's stop mucking about let's see if we've got trams yet or not and I'm going to have to buy a tram depot in order to find out because uh, obviously <clears throat> laying tram track is entirely possible uh, but uh, it's all for naught if you can't actually buy the thing so let's bang that in there buy trams. We have two to play with Ste uh, horse trams. They're so slow, though, which is why I never use them. So it's why I should totally do this. Okay, fine, good, fine, fine, and good. Uh, right, well, let's start with uh, Country Road. We'll up to medium at the same time, and we'll, uh, we'll add tram track. And I suspect this is going to be uh, a mite pricey. Six and a half grand. All right, that's not too bad. Eighteen. That's okay. That's that's okay. I suppose. Uh, actually, let's do the other bit of country road first uh, before <coughs> working on the uh, on the other ones. Uh, too much slope. Oh, we're gonna play the. Oh, you've got too much slope. Game. 
100 grand, but that does all the bits that you said there was too much slope. All right, fine. Yeah, I know. I did. I, we're we're already demonstrating that this is this is a bad a bad use of money. Um, all right, let's switch to switch to medium street and get this. No, look, stop trying to upgrade the bits I've done because I've done them already. Are we tram tracking the whole town? Is that what you're thinking there? I mean, I can think of better things that we could be spending this on. There we go. Right, we're going to come all the way down here, and this little triangle here—that's going to be our—that's going to be our tram drop off. I love it. That looks great. Uh, mm, I don't know why it's trying to overlay the uh, the country road there, uh, but I am. I am not. That's not how I want to roll. Let's uh, let's. We're just going to have to. We're going to have to pull off a regular bit of. Stop doing that. And just a very small amount. No tram track. We'll pay a grand just to allow me to, to place this thing without excessive uh, additional expense. Uh, upgrade. There we go. See, that's how you do that. And I've I've made it I've made it moderately attractive at the same time. Uh, right, which will leave us one. No, that that's all done. Right, good. All right, this is this is proving significantly more pricey than uh, than I'd hoped, um, but to be honest, I'm not really taking due care and attention in, in ensuring that it stays cheap. So you know, I can I can blame no one but myself. Too much slope, too much slope, too much slope. Not too much slope. Well, that's that's uh, that's jolly civilized of you. Uh, right, we may have to try and come up with a plan B here. I'm not entirely sure what that plan B is going to be. Too much slope. How much slope are we talking about? I mean, a regular cart could get up that, and they wouldn't. They wouldn't gripe about it too much. Maybe if I if I drop to uh, the small streets here, it will be it will be a little more forgiving. It's no more forgiving. This is this is this is clearly a, a clearly a non-starter of an idea which I am already regretting. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna have to do it the bulldozer way. We we all live a life the bulldozer way once in a while. Me possibly more than others. Right, let's grab a medium street here. All right, and then let's connect it up. Two hundred and thirty grand, freaking bargain. All right, let's so uh, we can bring it down. Bring it down. One hundred and six thousand. Well, if that's the cost I have to pay. Right, there we are. It's happy now. Too much slope. Terrain alignment collision. All of it. Yeah, all of my favourite, favourite error messages. Um, right, let's upgrade along here because that will be cheaper. Um, you've missed out. Oh, you haven't missed out. Perfect. That's what we want. All right, well, what am I short now? We've done all the way up here to, uh, to the Alp. Uh, we now need to cover whatever the heck this is called. Ray Alp. Uh, now how far have we got? We've done that much. No, don't, look, I don't need you to re, oh, actually, okay, it's not that expensive. Repave away. There we are, because it looks fabulous. This is going to be such a, such a pretty little route for people to prettily, pretty along. What was that? Oh, yeah, that was the, uh, you're out of, you're out of cash there, chief. Uh, that's what he was saying to me. Uh, so we'll just twiddle our thumbs for, for mere moments until we've got the cash. Okay, got some cash. Uh, right, now, it, actually, that was mere moments. It that took me about a minute to, uh, to, to whip up 180 grand. Uh, now, I am spending this money imprudently at the present time. You don't need to point it out. I know already. Uh, but, you know, you get, a, you get a bit between your teeth on a, on a cunning wheeze of an idea. And... Uh, you know, and he decided just to get on with it. Right. I didn't even need to build half of that track, you know. Anyway, we'll go from here. It's not going to be quick. Once steam trams are introduced, this will really come into its own. But for the moment, it's going to be a, uh, uh, a rather expensive uh, setup. Um, but hey, you know, uh, with a bit of luck, it will be popular. Uh, and that, that will be something at least. Where's my triangle? I thought the triangle was here. I mean, I guess that's triangular. Uh, right. Maybe 
are. Right, now let's set up the roots. Now we are going to need a few on here in order for this to uh, to get the kind of frequency necessary to be popular. He says popular. It's, uh, uh, to be anywhere near viable. And then like that. It's not a bad looking root. Uh, right, okay, so this is uh, uh, Andermatt. And hopefully it, we won't need to... Uh, we won't need to rename it because something else will be uh, will be starting A N D, and if it is, we got there first. And the last one is the Alp de Cicerisaurus or some such. I'm going to call it Alp. Right there we go. Um, let's have a look and see how many of these we can get. Horse tram. What do we think? I think the red is going to look particularly fine against the snow, and we're going to go with six of these, which is a silly amount to do. Two, three, four, five, six. Unless it works, in which case it's a perfectly sensible amount to do. Um, that should be enough. Once once we've actually got this running and uh, and making some profit, uh, that that should be uh, sufficient to uh, to to build up a reasonable amount of demand among passengers. Uh, here we go. I never use these. You know, this is rare. It's uh, this is an uncommon sight. You know, trams, quite happy to use trams all day long, but uh, but these horse-drawn numbers, yeah, it's, it's a novelty. Usually because they get supplanted by steam trams in about three minutes' time. But hey, you know, I'm all about, you know, building stuff that's interesting and different and what have you. Or, or so that's what it says on, on, my, uh, on my CV, anyway. Uh, there we go, that's pretty good. I quite like it. Well, we seem to accomplish that in it quite quickly. What are we going to do next? I mean, we can sit here watching them for the next 10 minutes, but, but somehow I, I think that's going to leave people uh, just a little bit cold. Uh, we're going to have to come up with something else to do. Hmm. Uh, let's, let's watch one briefly. Stone Mead, they might not be quick, but uh, we have made some headway up here. Or have we? Did anyone come up here? I was pretty sure one had come up here. Guess not. No, I am mistaken as is so rarely the case. Uh, okay, right, we'll leave those running and come back to them in a couple of minutes. Let's go and have a look and see how we're getting on over in the successful part of the uh, the country. And actually, it is the, but if the camera would stay still, you'd be able to see, this is pretty successful now. Uh, 29 passengers waiting uh, at what I assume is Bern. No, it's not, it's Locarno. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there'll be more waiting as soon as this, uh, this carriage comes in. No sign of a train other than the smoke in the distance. Uh, it, the next one that comes in is going to fill up pretty much immediately. This is a good sign. This is uh, a clear demonstration of some growth going on. Uh, someone else said that I should, uh, in order to prevent people uh, who get a little bit upset about such things, I should reconnect my forester. Uh, I will when I start foresting. Which is not today. All right. Okay, we've got another new vehicle, and it is uh, another Russian passenger coach. Interesting. Uh, as we hit 1860. What are you carrying? 30. Brilliant. And you? 30. Doubly brilliant. Uh, and in terms of the number of passengers waiting, uh, a, a good a good shake of passengers. 105 passengers waiting. Well, once Locarno gets up to the same kind of demand, I think we'll, uh, we'll look into either running a third train, exciting, uh, or significantly upping the, uh, the capacity on the two that we're running already. Uh, right, let's go and have a look and see how this American number is getting on, because uh, it's overdue, well, possibly overdue, uh, an upgrade. Uh, right, 28 of 28 on board. We've got 72 waiting at this end, and at the other end, we've got... 43 waiting. So this to me says it's uh, it's upgrade time. Um, where are we? We're in January already, so uh, so there's no loan repayment for a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to... No, no, click the right thing. And then we're going to do something that I will almost certainly regret. Go to the depot. Now, I, di I didn't wait that time for the passengers to get off. And that's because it had already given me the money. So any passengers that are remaining on uh, while heading to the depot, where, you know, they will be crushed in a, uh, a machine that crushes things, 
uh, that's uh, that's like their own lookout. People who take their time getting off the train, get everything that is coming to them. Uh, right, now then. Let's move the locomotive, because I want to sell it. Where does that take me to? 166. And the reason I want to sell it is I'm going to go for some new tech. And there we are, borrowing money again. Just like you don't care. Uh, right, where's the 4-4? Uh, the now, it's a little bit faster. It's a lot more expensive. Um, but uh, it should be able to, uh, to haul a reasonable amount more at greater speed. Um, let's see if we can't get another carriage on there. So we've got this passenger car at 272. That's another 14. Well, obviously we add it. I'd like to add one more. But I'm not going to take out another loan. So I'm going to run it because this, this alone will make uh, more profit uh, in order to turn it around a little bit faster. Uh, in order to you know be able to, to up uprate what we're carrying on there. A little swifter. There we go. There's the uh, there's the, the the general pulling out. Uh, and you know what? I, because I'm feeling that way, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a color uh, vehicles, and the color will be something general like. I don't know. Well, it's pale green. Oh yeah, Disneyland is missing a train today. No, it looks terrible. That doesn't look great either. That is not great either. Oh, the, the, the specular on this train is not helping me. I'm going to make it brown. Um, but there we are. Look, you see, look, we've, we're already moving into a, into a new era. Um, 42 passengers on board. It will pay a little bit more because the train's faster. It will do it more often because the train's faster. And it will pay a lot more because I've got more capacity. Uh, there is, I see nothing but upside uh, in this uh, in this sense. See, look, here we go, tracking camera again. Tracking camera. Tracking camera. No, you see, can't keep up. It's just not as fast as the Russians. Still quite a nice shot. Um, anyway, right, so there we go. Uh, that should now get moving. I'm going to, uh, I think, you know, given that we are turning some money, uh, I would quite like to half the uh, the amount that I'm paying out in loan each year, uh, if we have a quick look at it. We're now, you know, 60,000 is just doing nothing for us at all. Um, and, and, you know, if you're talking about a million in revenue, uh, 60,000 is actually is actually not to be sniffed at. Uh, you know, it's, it, you're, you're pushing 10%. Um, it's it's just not a it's it's not a good a good system to be paying quite so much in in debt maintenance. Uh, right, uh, Enit Bergen has got it's got a reasonable amount on the commuter route waiting. Um, we have got enough waiting at the station, assuming I can keep up the demand there. Uh, interesting. Uh, and then just over the other side of the lake, we've got our Russian line. Uh, 27 waiting at one end. This is promising. Uh, and two at the other end. Possibly less promising. Uh, there we go. I've, I've got no warnings, as it should be. Um, two people waiting there. Only two waiting here. Got to get that number up. I Because otherwise it's, I'm going to have a tough time justifying adding another coach. Uh, if we uh, If we're not filling the station up. Um, I mean, it's all well and good coming from one direction and, and constantly getting, uh, you know, full carriages. But uh, but unless we're doing it both ways, it's it's just not a great idea. Now, what have we got on board here? We've got four on board. If they all get off, uh, then I will buy a couple of extra commuter wagons, uh, commuter coaches. Uh, and uh, And that will hopefully fill the station a little quicker. And pay me. 50k. Perfect. There we go. So that's three people there getting off to go to the station. Right, we're going to buy some more wagons on here because there is plenty of demand on this route. Uh, oh, you know what I haven't done? If we're stopping there both ways, I ought to have a I ought to have a what's it on both sides. And I'm sure when I built this in the first place. Everybody commented on that, but obviously 
since I'm recording this back to back, uh, I won't have seen those comments, but people will have said it. I, I put money on people having said it. Uh, right, let's have a look. There you go. Yes, that makes much more sense. Uh, either way, we still want to stick uh, a depot up to uh, to get that uh, a little bit more fully packed out with uh, chaps. Incoherence is merely one of the uh, the standards that I can provide. Right, where are we? Uh, we're looking at uh, Ing Swiss. Ing Swiss, are we? Yeah, we are. We're looking at Ing Swiss. Um, Right, so I think another two on there uh, will be enough to uh, to at least bolster the number of people that are waiting for the train. Um, uh, obviously, I don't want to run it dry uh, in terms of demand anywhere along that line, but uh, I, d I do want to make sure that we're we're at least filling up the, the train station. Uh, where are we? And we have got 12 people waiting for a bus anyway, so that's, that, seems, that seems fair enough. Uh, what's our current number? I can eyeball it, which is something that I won't be able to do later in the series. Uh, what's that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See? Seven. I can count. Go me. Uh, that's eight. It's, I don't know where he was going, but it wasn't right. That was not something we should see the fella just slipping through the floor there. Um, but hey, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Right, okay, now, I'm going to... That's enough time. Time has passed now. Uh, we shall go and have a look uh, and see if our, uh, our Alp route has... Uh, our Alpen tram route has taken flight. I am really mixing all of the metaphors in there. Uh... Because if it has, uh, then good. If it hasn't, then not so good. I, I don't know what else I could possibly suggest. Right, we've got a passenger waiting at least. Five passengers waiting. That's a good sign. Uh, where's my nearest cart? Tram. Sorry. Let's, you know, let's not do it the disservice of referring to it as a cart when it's, uh, when it's oh so much more important than that. I mean, I've got six of them on this line. They can't all be, you know, in one area. What have you got? Three of five. That's so-so, I suppose. Uh, you've got five of five. That's more like it. Okay, this is going to pay off. It, it, even more so, once I've got something powered uh, on here to, to, you know, help things along. Yeah, this, is, this, is the, this is the screenshot right here. This is... This is Good looking stuff is what it is. Uh, it'd be nicer if they, you know, their ankles didn't sink through the pavement, but, you know, you can't have it all. Don't give way to him. If they're idiot enough to walk across the road, mow them down. They'll get over it or not, as the case may be. Uh, let's have a look. What are, how are you getting on? You're packing only one. Well, it is a fairly remote place you're going to. It doesn't surprise me that there's more people trying to leave it than are trying to uh, uh, trying to turn up. Fifteen are trying to leave the town. Seems reasonable. Right. Okay. That's going to that's going to pan out. Let's have a quick look and see how it's actually doing in a, in the in the profit uh, graph. It is actually the worst performing line that we have, but that's okay. Uh, that it, it won't be that way forever once we can get the frequency up a bit. Um, right, Locarno Burn, uh, 250, quarter of a million this year. Excellent, excellent work. Uh, Wolfenschiessen, uh, Ennitzberg is what I want to say. Uh, that's possibly because that's its name, but I can't remember for certain. Ennitbergen, okay. Wolfenschiessen, Ennitbergen, right, okay, good. Memorize. Uh, press record on that one, brain. Uh, let's see if we can't can't keep that one in in store. Uh, but this is going quite nicely. I would like another coach on there, and I've got the money to do it. Shall I? Shall I spend the cash? I'll I'll spend the cash. We'll speculate and accumulate. Uh, probably not in that order. Uh, we are going to want another wagon here as well. Given that there's what's thirty six people waiting. They're going to have a long wait, and there's only going to get more people on there, so I'm going to have to buy the 
flipping depot back again. And I tell you, if I'm paying maintenance costs on these depots, I am going to hurt you people uh, because you all said, no, 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 you don't pay running costs on depots. Uh, right. You get on one of them. Uh, ENB Chester, you get on the other one. Uh, right there. ENB Victoria, I believe. There we are. Right, that should spice that along a little more. Um, one would hope. And then we're going to do the uh, the carriage switcher at this end again. And everything will be everything. There we go. So this should pay quite healthily once it gets in. We say should. Pay healthily. Or else. 78 grand. Brilliant. Get to the depot. Go on. Off you go. Don't worry, passengers. He'll be back. He'll be back, but longer. Uh, he's going for, a, for an upgrade. Uh, we can buy that while we wait for it to turn up. Right. Buy that. Good. Get back out there. Set line. Uh, Wolf and Schiessen. Enid Bergen. I'm saying it repeatedly to try and drum it into my head. Uh, and it may or may not pan out at some point. Uh, right, I'm going to roll forward by a year before the next episode. To which I hear, you know, shock and dismay from all of you. Um, I'm going to roll forward by a year in order to uh, basically sink all of the cash that I make in that time into a little bit of debt repayment. Uh, so that I can take out future loans for expansion only. That's the aim. Anyway, that will wrap it up for this time. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, that, you know, I, if we can keep all the lines that we're running profitable or very close to it, uh, and those two will be close to profitable by the end of the year, um, uh, then we can keep moving forward. Now, we need some that are going to make high bucks, and, and stuff like this general is that it's going the right way to make that happening. Um, there we go. See, we made 186 last year. Kaboom. Uh, this year, we'll make even more. Uh, yeah, as long as we keep rolling the profits in on a few lines, we can add more lines that will add more profits, which will do more good. Uh, anyway, uh, chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed it, and join me very soon by hitting the subscribe button to ensure you don't miss out uh, where the series will continue. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you next time. Cheerio. Cheerio.